hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today I want to talk about how I increased my net worth tenfold by using these three proven strategies guys you know I talk a lot about improving my financial condition and how you can improve your financial condition on this channel and today's video is going to continue that series of videos talking about improving your financial position by me telling you how I increased my net worth. The first thing I did to increase my net worth is I decided to pay myself first. Now I know guys I've mentioned that concept or that strategy in prior videos but let me walk you through in detail what I mean by paying myself first. Well guys when I was 30 years old my net worth was pretty small. And at that point, I decided, look man, you gotta make a change. You gotta figure out a way to put yourself in a position where you have a good future ahead of you as it relates to your financial situation. I wanted to make sure I started saving early so that I could take advantage of compound interest over the next 20 or 30 years so I could set myself up to have a really, really nice retirement. Now the first thing I had to do in order to pay myself first was I had to take a look at my budget and what I was spending my money on. And when I talk about spending my money guys, I'm basically talking about my nine to five income at the time. Because other than that, I really did not have any other sources of income when I was 30, nor did I have very much cash. So I took a look at what I was spending my money on. And I started cutting out things that I really didn't need. You know, going out to eat all the time. Buying things spurred a moment that I never even used. Taking luxurious trips and things like that that I probably didn't need to take. Just going out and having a good time, I started cutting some of those things out of my life. And once I did that, I quickly uncovered I had more than enough money to start paying myself first. Now what's that strategy look like? Well paying yourself first is basically you taking the first, well at least for me, taking the first 10% of all the money that I make and I pay myself. I take that 10% and I invest it. And I invest it every time I get paid. For some of you guys, that might be weekly, that may be bi-weekly, that may be once a month, once a quarter, annually. Whenever you get paid, and whenever I got paid, I just paid myself. 10% right off the bat. And again, the way I was able to do that is because I started cutting out unnecessary expenditures, which created that 10%. Now that strategy served pretty well for me. Over the last 20 years, guys, I have faithfully paid myself first before I paid anybody else. Now that doesn't mean I don't pay my bills. I do pay my bills. I do pay my obligations. What it simply means is I've created my financial life around paying myself first. So I don't go out and incur debt that would interfere in me being able to pay myself first. I just simply don't do that. And that's what you'll probably need to do as well. You'll have to just make a determination that you're going to pay yourself first and st structure your financial life around paying yourself first. Well, let's move on to the next strategy. And I've talked about this a lot because it's one of my three additional streams of income. And that next strategy is real estate. Guys, when I got into real estate, I was 26 years old. And the way I got in was I purchased my first home. And that was my introduction to real estate. I quickly understood that, wow, if I can live in this home for two years and it, it, and it appreciates in value, I can take that equity and then buy a second home. So guys, I used that strategy three times in order to build up enough cash to be able to start buying single family rentals. Real estate was really instrumental in me building my net worth because it allowed me to get big chunks of money. So I've been very fortunate with real estate. I haven't owned a ton of real estate, 
I never have owned more than five properties at one time. But the properties that I have owned, there's only been one property that I missed on. All the rest of them, I made money and did well. I made money cash on cash return through rental income, and then I certainly made a, a lot of money when I exited the property. So number two strategy for me guys that helped me tenfold my net worth was real estate. Now the third one guys, this third strategy I've talked about as well. And that strategy is delayed gratification. Back to when I was 30 years old and I started paying myself first. And then I started getting into real estate, buying real estate and and, and, and putting tenants in that real estate and then selling that real estate for big profits. For a long time, I just delayed gratification. And simply what that means to me is guys, for a long time, I could have bought cars. I could have bought jewelry. I could have went on fancy vacations. I could have done all of that stuff years ago. But I made a promise to myself that I would not do any of that stuff until I secured my future and my retirement before I started buying toys. Another promise I made to myself was, in order to buy these toys, I would need to create additional streams of income to pay for them. So what I did was, along with real estate, I also went ahead and created luxury watch sales, and I also started investing in the stock market. Now that delayed gratification piece though, it gave me the direction I needed and it certainly has paid off. I delayed guys for about 15 years and I had the money to buy these cars, but I just didn't do it because I knew what my end game was. I knew the most important thing to me in my financial picture was setting myself up long term. I didn't wanna be in a situation where I had a bunch of cars, but I didn't have any cash or I had a bunch of cars, but I didn't have any real assets because we all know guys, cars, are depreciating assets. Um, they're really a liability, even if you own them outright, unless it's a special one-off, classic, hypercar type of vehicle. Most of these cars you see in my garage here are depreciating assets. So I couldn't justify taking my money that I was tucking away for my future and for my family's future to spend on cars. So that delayed gratification served me well. And guys, honestly, it was the best thing I could have done. So today, guys, I just wanted to touch on how I tenfold my net worth and what I did and the strategies I used in order to do that. You can do the same thing, guys. I know some of you guys out there already are killing it and doing extremely well. But there are some people out there that are not doing as well. They, they're struggling to save money and, and, and build a, a nest egg and a rainy day fund and a retirement fund. But it also is my passion to be able to help folks and talk people through um, what I did in order to put myself uh, in a financial situation that has given me the opportunity to do a lot of cool things. Thank you again for taking some time out and watching the video. I would ask you, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel and it helps me as well. But as always guys, keep chasing greatness and I will catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want two free stocks, click on that link in the description box of the video and Weeble is going to give you two free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account, deposit $5 in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email 
and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.